hi everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Pamela and I make content on all different things including horticulture hair bags and my life so if you're interested don't forget to subscribe but today I have a lovely unboxing of a plant my dream wishlist plant okay so I feel like every unboxing is a wishlist plant unboxing, but you know what guys, that's what these are. These are wishlists. Like I wish I have this plant on my wishlist. I would like to have this plant. So now that I have hits, here I am sharing you a wishlist plant. This is, I don't know why it's so hard to find this plant, but it's like pulling teeth to come across this plant and I think I pulled a few tooth <laughs> because I have this amazingness in my possession now so if you're interested in seeing what I have in here then keep on watching all right so are you ready are you ready are you ready I just want to say thank you to the seller for sending this to me one day. I She sent this plant out to me yesterday and it got here today. So, alright, alright, oh my god, I just seen it! Oh, hold on, alright, so I wanted this plant. I've been posting about this plant. I've been posting like on the Facebook groups like in search of and like some people I think they tease you or some people get like really greedy with the prices. But anyway, so she messaged me and she was just like, Hey, I have one rooting, you know, here it is, here's the price and I'm like, you know what, for in comparison to maybe what you paid, you probably like the piece that I bought is probably how much she paid for the entire pot I understand that um but in comparison to how much it's going for on eBay and I'm gonna try to like post a photo here of like how much tiny rootings of this um, like someone sold it for on eBay it's crazy because I got this like for an, a pretty good price compared again to like market value because it's so hard to come across this plant like if you search for this plant um maybe depending on when i post this video you might come across it to ebay as that i i'm speaking of and if not again I'll, it'll be somewhere in this video or you won't find it at all like it's i don't know why it's nearly impossible to find this plant so hopefully um I'll come across another one of this plant but in a larger form and guys a little bit more rambling before I get into showing you the plant manifestation is a hell of a like it's really crazy it's so true how like you can manifest things in your life because like I said it's nearly impossible to find this plant at the current moment March February like January it's pretty impossible to find this plant and I was able to find it like like I'm like I literally manifested it and I'm like I'm gonna find this plant this week like I'm gonna find this plant and another plant and I found both of them and again on the American market at the moment it's impossible it's like non-existent to find this and the other plant which is my uh Silver Glory Serapegii, those things they go for insane amount of money on the American market too. Oh my earring just popped off. So I can't believe I found these, you know, for the prices that I found them because I think I paid pretty good for it again for how much they're going for. So doop. this is a Hoya, okay. I just want to say that first off. Um this is a compacta. This is the Hoya Carnosa Compacta Mauna Loa. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I do apologize to the, you know, people that like the Hawaiians and 
Pacific Islanders. And Samoans. Um, apparently this is named after a volcano. Um, are you seeing like how beautiful this plant is, guys? And this looks super small, and that's because it is a pretty small piece. But after she, um, so I'm like, yeah, sure, totally, I'll buy it. Sounds good. Then she's just like, so then I also said, um, do you have any more for sale? I'm like interested in more also. And she was just like, no, sorry, these are the only rooted pieces that I have. And I'm like, oh, do you have any unrooted pieces? And she was just like, yeah, um, I can like cut, you know, into the mother plant for you. So I was like, holy cow, what? You're, um, show me what you got then show me the money show me the money so i got this and i also got another nicer cutting look at this 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 this is so pretty This is so pretty, guys. I am ecstatic about this. I'm going to root this in some sphagnum moss. Um, this one, I'm going to go ahead and plant it because it already has roots. Let me see if I can take it. All right, so this has some roots on it already, and this one doesn't have any roots, so I'm gonna actually Go ahead and root this one, plant this one, and then join them together in the next month or so when the roots grow. But yo, this is the Mauna Loa, and where is my, where's my other one? Okay, hold on. All right, so, if you know me from my videos, then you know I love a compacta. I think compactas are my favorite Hoyas, um, maybe next to like Linearis, for just foliage aspect-wise of Hoyas. So this is just a regular Hoya compacta, green, okay? Then we have the Hoya Carnosa Compacta Variegata, which has the white outer and the green interior. And now we have added the unicorn, which is the Hoya Carnosa Compacta Mauna Loa where the white is on the interior and the green is on the border while for the variegata the white is on the border and the green is on the interior and of course the green is just classically green <sighs> can you believe I have that because I can't believe that I have that in my plant guys I I am so satisfied with my plant collection I have no desire <laughs> like I lied and guys look at the new growth you see it let's see focus on the new growth all right you see this right here right And then there's also no growth happening in this one too. You see right here. And also no growth on the tips. There's no growth right here and right here happening. <sighs> I am a very happy, a very satisfied Hoya Carnosa Compacta 
mom because they are they are like you guys know this is my why do I say it's hard for me to say this I say these this is my you know my favorite and it's great to have varieties of your favorite especially the uncommon lovely beauty uh thank you so much for watching this video guys Oh, okay, I'm done. All right. All right. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done guys. Thank you so much for watching this video Thumbs up for the compacta Thumbs up for the new Mauna Loa that I have in my collection that I am going to be rooting um, And I will see you guys on the next one. Let's get growing Bye